Marker. My my first experience with photography was with a minox. I was taking surreptitious photos in school, and about half of them came out, and I thought, "Wow, this is for me." And then and then I in high school I had a great teacher named Wesley Walker who was like the ultra nerd. He he was like he would stand up in front of the course and he was like almost like he would rock back and forth and and rub his hands as he was talking about the physics of photography. And I so I learned all about the mechanics of photography, optics, chemistry. Anyhow, when I was at Abel's, we were doing very fancy high high level commercials and ABC station breaks and all that stuff with streaks and 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 slit scan all these these fancy experimental processes and so all of us guys who were in in these kind of razor's edge of photography areas knew about each other but everybody in the commercial business wants to be wants to do features and so George uh, George is going to do Star Wars and I met Dykstra uh, the effect supervisor on the movie and 20 minutes later I was hired Star Wars was really the big deal for me because, uh, first of all, George had to be dragged, he, kicking and screaming, into shooting the movie with with an anamorphic camera, and shooting it in widescreen. He he wanted to do it 185, and I mean that's not the right format for Star Wars, and and the prints, you know, the 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 best prints that were made of Star Wars came out of Technicolor London. Which was which was the final I, IB prints. So Star Wars was probably my first uh, brush with Technicolor. I mean, actually, in a project I was working on. Well, Technicolor, first of all, has a uh, a, a long history of of uh, color knowledge and color manipulation that sticks. <laughs> I mean, Gone with the Wind is what comes to mind when I think of Technicolor. There was this saturation and and the reds and and the, the this wonderful uh, look of Technicolor. I'm amazed that in 1914 or 15 you know these guys these in these eggheads you know I mean Kalmus and and, uh, and and his pals they came up with a with this incredibly lugubrious process that that uh, that worked and not only then they could they could make prints at 150 feet a minute, and and in fact what's so amazing is that the IB process is is uh, impervious to age. The prints that were made in the in the 50s or the 40s or the, even the 30s are still the still the dyes are still uh, intact and they they still look the way they did in those days. So I mean, it's uh, it's 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 a process that uh, disappeared, unfortunately. But it was it was it was like, I think it was kind of like the the height of photomasochism. This behemoth of a camera, and I remember I have a great shot of Olivia de Havilland uh, in bed dying, being photographed with, the, with this huge blimp. That's that's like right on top of her doing a close-up and it's like it's probably being held on by two three-eighths bolts you know I mean it it's amazing what uh, what the movie crews went through to make movies with this behemoth of a camera it's like a Volkswagen on a tripod you know but all those wonderful movies were made of it Robin Hood I mean you can I mean the Technicolor three-strip camera is is one of the finest mechanisms that was built in America in the early th 20th century. And the thing is that the technology has gotten to the point where uh, where anything is possible. I mean, all, the, all of these technologies uh, supersede the, the phonochemical basis of the company. The high dynamic range that, that's starting to, to, to starting to be conquered it's so far beyond film already. It opens up and it increases the the uh, the number of options that the artists have dynamically. I mean, it's it's uh, it's an incredible uh, opening of of uh, the technology. I mean, it, that kind of momentum 
that, that started with Technicolor is still here. I mean, Technicolor is a household word. <clears throat> it's like Kleenex is to, to movies. You know, it's like a word that's on, it's in everybody's mind, and it's uh, rightfully so. And, and, and it has a tremendous history, and, and so I, I believe that Technicolor will burgeon and 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 uh, do well in the future look forward to the next 100 <laughs>